the Tawny of Duskendale. Hmm. Yeah, after the humiliation of last time, we need to prove ourselves. Son was born. Brandon Fawn. Oh, not that one. Make an important person. Our two little bastards. Ah. They'll be passed off as fawns. And my friend's his brother. It's so sad. <laughs> I didn't get through this tournament either. Are you kidding me? What the hell's wrong with you, Robert? What's happened to you? You become... You're not even drunk. You can't even blame the drink. You're just ridiculous. Margie's pretty good, actually. Huh. She's not the best uh, Master of Whispers, though. Uh, Roderick. Oh, our two King's Guard members. Balon Strong beat Roderick Castle. Apparently, he's a lunatic. <laughs> what happened to Balon Swan? He's now a lunatic. Uh, Lord Willis Tyrell, Lofa Brune. Willis Tyrell won. There's some really good fighters here in this tournament. Okay. And Balon Swan won against Willis Tyrell in the final. But he's a lunatic. Interesting. I would love to see Oron Grey, uh, Greyjoy take the Iron Isles through his scheme, and that'd be great to see AI do that. Come on, get him killed. <laughs> oh, Tywin has died. Died a natural death, and so Lord Paramount Jamie of the Westerlands. Uh, Lucia is his wife, just a lowborn girl, 34 years old. He has one son, Alec Lannister, zero years old. Okay. No longer is he in love with Cersei. Oh, gone back too far. Shouldn't have gone back. Him and Cersei are no longer lovers. Interesting. Okay, his hair is... Kind of golden. I mean... Not too golden, though. He could be a Baratheon. He has a Baratheon face. Kind of. He kind of has Stannis' eyes. Look at that. No, no he doesn't. No, he does not at all. He has his nose. I think he has the exact same nose. Yeah. But kind of similar. In some ways. Mouth and nose-wise, they look very similar. So maybe he is actually a Baratheon. I don't remember what you're good at. I'm sorry. Um, hmm. How about we send you to... Renly, Renly, you look after this one. I don't know why. <laughs> we need a new hand of the king. Now, I would probably go with Eddard Stark. 10 and 14. Yeah. Eddard Stark could be okay. Yeah, let's pick Eddard Stark. I need new Master Times. Uh, and So Richard Horp is actually better than him. And Jamie Lannister is actually quite good as well. Let's pick Jamie Lannister. Master Arms. And Castellian shall be Eddard Stark. New Hand of the King, Eddard Stark. Excellent. Let's go to Dragonstone. Uh, train Children. Okay, let's check out the rest of our council. Master of Laws, you're by far the best. Master of Coin, uh, 19 we have here. 15. Okay, I guess he will be it. And then you as well. Ariane is actually very good. So is my wife though, but we're going to keep Harwood. He's been good to us for now. Okay, that's still being built. Okay. Very good. I still need a son. Come on, Marjorie. 18 years. I've had two sons with the Horn Woman. This is ridiculous. A new Master of Laws. Something happened to the other one. Uh, let's choose... Uh, I could choose Renly. Justin Macy. Yeah, Justin Macy. You can be it. Make friends with the Greyjoys. Okay, he's still been declared incapable. Aisha Greyjoy. Oh, she looks very different here. <laughs> she looks very different here. 
She's had a child, Willis Tyrell. Okay. Oh my god, she's she's pregnant again. Ah, Jesus. Don't be another boy, please. Uh, it's come to my attention that nobody's been designated a regent for the Iron Throne. Um, no, I don't want you to be. Warren of the West. Jamie Lanner still will have it. Actually, I have to admit, uh, Aisha Greyjoy, I don't like the way they've done her on the TV show. I don't know about you guys, but I, I did not actually like the way she's been portrayed on the TV show. I, I don't feel like, to me, that's Aisha. I, I guess the actor's doing a good job, actually. The actor's doing a good job. She definitely does the right attitude and stuff and the right way she's playing it. But I don't like the decisions they've made, like her going and sailing to Theon was kind of weird and giving that speech and stuff. It really did not fit in at all. Um, I guess the idea was they're trying to make her more likable. So they're trying to make her more likable. It's the only way I can see it. Because they made a go, then obviously in the end it failed. So it showed how far gone Fionn was. And also showed that, hey, she's a nice girl. You know, she, she actually does care a little bit about her brother and family. So that means we've got to then care about her. Because then she'll be important in the future. That, that's the only way I think they... That's the only reason I think they did that. Um, there's no regent. No, I don't need a regent. Go away. I, I don't really like the way they've done that. Because as we know, she's not really like that. She's actually kind of slightly ruthless in a way. And she's more interested in the books, I thought. But that's just me. Maybe we'll see more in the future. Then maybe they'll change it. But so far, I've not liked the way they've done it. You know, they changed the name and stuff. Just loads of little things that really seemed unnecessary. Just seemed unnecessary. A new Grand Maester. Another Reachman, though. This guy's not as good as the last one. No way near as good as the last one. That's the way the cookie crumbles, though, sometimes. Sometimes you do not get... Why do I still not have a son? So Stannis' son is still not married. But he's now come to age. He's not particularly impressive, if I must say. Ed Motelli still has not had a child. Uh, though his wife is now pregnant. Uh, we have little Rickard Stark, oldest son of Eddard Stark. Skilled fighter. He's married to a, a lowborn. My wife is pregnant. Thank God. Give us a boy. Come on. Give him patronage. Give us a good young boy. He's got, oh, okay. At the moment, it looks like Aaron the Bold has been declared. He's a reaver. And he's a daughter, though. His son was born to Renly, Brian Baratheon. She turned out terrible. Look at that. Free, 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 free. That's terrible. Of course we'll come, friend. My friend is having a tournament. We'll come. And we can meet my late brother's uh, ex-wife as well, Cersei. Okay. Could be fun. Okay. Your Grace, for too long, called Paul occupied my rightful seat. Uh, and also had nothing to take it from him. The trader town. What's that? Oh. You want to come all the way over here and take this? Okay, here, have some money. Go. You amuse me. Go go take it back. I shall ready my horse. We actually made it into this tournament then. Uh, next joust. So, Lofa Brune. Okay, I'm against Lofa Brune. This could be a good fight. He is strong. Uh, poor fighter. Duelist. Steady. He's hit me. Damn, have I stayed on? Ouch. Lofa Brune knocked me off my horse. Are you kidding me? Oh, but Baratheon, you are a complete... You're completely incapable when it comes to this, aren't you? You are completely incapable at these tournaments. Uh, so Samwell and Richard Hawke. Uh, Samwell Stone made it through. Balon Swan. Ooh. Dylan Riker beat Balon Swan. Now, that's a difficult one. Surprised he did that. And in the end, Samwell Stone won. Never member of the King's Guard wins another tournament. Okay. Uh, with my friend, we'll find out who's been poisoning me. Ah, Walder Rivers. The fray has died uh, from depression. A new member of the King's Guard then is needed. Hold a tawny, the greatest knights. Uh, it's a small Paul. Ah, small Paul. 
Skilled fighter, strong. Uh, he's wounded. Okay. Uh, Ilan Clegane. He is Sander Clegane's son. Formidable fighter, strong. He looks like a good choice. And Stefan, I want this Ilan Clegane. Though he does have a regional tawny win for small poor. Damn it. But he is formidable fighter and strong. Let's go with him. Step forward. It'll be the highest honor to serve in your King's Guard. So Sander Clegane. Uh, Sander Clegane looked on with pride as the newest knight of the King's Guard swore his vows. So there you go. What happened to uh, Gregor? So Gregor's still waiting to inherit. Okay. He has a son, uh, Arnold, who's huge. Okay. Father's 57, he'll probably die soon. Spend all the money to find out who's poisoning me. We, we, we've been through this one before, so I don't want to have to go through it. Uh, my daughter, Cassandra. She's a good fighter. Let's get her ready for command, yeah. She maybe, she maybe can do it. Uh, Hampshire... I'm fine. We don't need you. Uh, with the expensive equipment, we managed to find out it was the cook. Damn, cooks. Ah, so you want to get married. And to my daughter. The heir to the Iron Throne. Interesting. You want to marry my daughter. The heir to the Iron Throne. This is interesting though, because he's Baratheon. So technically that would be fine. Yeah. Okay, fine. I accept. I accept. They'll both get married. That means their sons, obviously, or children be of Baratheon, but of his side, but it doesn't matter. They're both the same. Uh, Eglantine, they've got married. Okay, seems like a good way to fix that. Put them together. You know, the, um, the, the Targaryens used to do it. We're fine. And they're cousins, so, you know, it's not that bad. An agreement has been reached. Uh, I shall give him plenty of gold and silver. Offer the customary. To have a son. We finally had a son. Renly Baratheon. Thank, thank you, Marjorie. 20 years old. You've already given me three children. We finally got one. So now that marriage doesn't even matter to him. Um, but it's kind of nice. Make the eight. I guess we could make the eight. Yeah, expand the realm by conquest. That could be a good one. But you know what? We're going to make the 8 for now. Let's make the 8. Never try I've never actually tried that, I have to say. I don't normally get lustful characters, actually, when I play. Uh, the Tawny of Farron Cross is below me. I pray for courage. Nah. We're fine. But yeah, I don't know how we make the 8. Is there like anything happens? Do things pop up? Look at that. Hereby remove... Okay. <laughs> ah, I knew it. King Robert I, Euron Greyjoy, Lord Protector of the Iron Islands, hereby remove Tar Greyjoy from power, for he has been judged unfit to rule by his counsellors. I shall succeed him and henceforth rule as a Lord Paramount. Tar Greyjoy is declared incapable, basically been locked up. He has a Valerian steel sword. I don't know how that has happened. <laughs> how did he get this? Okay. So Lord Powerman or on the crow's eye. You sneaky devil. I'm so I'm actually impressed he's actually able to do that. There's a few sons there. Lord Ulf. Okay. Not really that impressive. Uh this one's attractive. Uh this one has nothing. Okay. I can't believe he's done it. Or on Greyjoy managed to get the Iron Islands. Hmm. You sneaky devil. Some people might not know him. If you've, uh, you might not know him very well. He's just, he's just a brother of Balon Greyjoy. Uh, Princess Cassandra. She's very strong, actually. Educate. Let's get her a good fighter. Maybe I should educate her. Nah, I can't be bothered. Let's give her Jamie. Make her a good fighter. Yeah, go on. Jamie. It's like your father. Educate some of our family. I don't want to take part in your embargo wars decline. Maria is afraid of the dark. Ah, ridicule her. That should do it. Try to address the cause of her fear. Let her handle it alone. Yeah, she'll be fine. She'll be fine, you know. It's just the dark. She'll grow out of it. 
You know, everyone does. Everyone's afraid of the dark. But after a few years, you realize it's not that scary. Uh, so she's got Craven. Ah, the Tawny Riverman. Of course we'll come to Tawny Riverman. Ed Metalli. Has he had a Yes, he had a son. So this tournament, I guess, is for, you know, his son. Jarrah Bold. The tourney has finally got underway. I didn't get through again. Are you kidding me? God damn you, Robert Baratheon. You're useless. Ah, you want to come work for me? Nope, I don't want you. Ah. Okay, Duncan Liddle was able to defeat him. Pretty skilled fighter, huge, strong, not really surprised. Randall Tarley and Sir Roderick Castle. Uh, Randall Tarley defeated my member, the King's Guard, formidable fighter, Hearts Bane. What a surprise. And Samuel Tarley. He's got quick. Ah. Uh, weak. Uh, knight. Okay, he's a knight, apparently. He's zealous. Gluttonous, kind. Ah. He got married to a footley. Isn't that nice? Looks like Samuel's having a much nicer time in this uh, one. And looks like he's the only son of Randall's. Maybe that's why. Ah, okay. He fought well. Only two people remained. Randall Tarley and Duncan Big Little. And Duncan Big Little won. Ah. Good job. Randall Tarley's a hard one to beat. Oh, and Nori? Nah, I'm fine. But of course. How is my lover? We haven't seen her in a while. Oh, my wife is pregnant. Jeez, we're having so many... Robert is having so many kids. Jesus. Okay. So her only son of the fawn is this one. Jeffrey. Married a wild. Okay, this one's strong and quick. I'm going to groom her for command. We don't have enough money. Okay, I don't have enough money to groom her for command. I could just get some more money. Let's get some more money. Let's groom her for command. She's strong and quick. Um, ah, but she's craven. Okay, let's not do that. Uh, court. Yes. She's good. Yeah, court stuff. So let's do that. Okay, that's fine. We've already got one daughter. Maybe potentially being able to become a warrior. Probably not. No one's been designated your regent. No, Tarek, I don't want you to be it. There we go. There's my little girl, Princess Aglantine. She, she turned out okay. Winter is coming to an end. Congratulations. Perfect. How is uh, Renly doing? Renly's had one son. Brian Baratheon. She's only 17, and there's lots of time to have more kids. He's still elective. His son, though, is next in line. His second son. Okay. Uh, Stefan. We had a new son. Stefan Baratheon. None of them got strong, or huge, or quick, or attractive. She's got quick, attractive. I've got, you know, strong. None of them, none of the boys got it. Only the girls. Kind of a shame, really. 